Forests are one of the most important ecosystems in the world, supporting a vast amount of life. Here on the shores of the Monterey Peninsula off the coast of California, you can find one of the most diverse forest ecosystems in the world, underwater. These underwater forests are made up of kelp, which is a type of brown algae that can be found in all shapes and sizes from two foot tall stocked kelp on the ocean floor to the giant kelp, which can grow up to 30 meters or 100 feet tall. Kelp forests are incredibly important ecosystems and are home to a variety of creatures such as barnacles, sea stars, crabs, anemones, and sea cucumbers. A large number of organisms live here, from big organisms such as fish, to small organisms such as tiny microscopic worms and crustaceans that live in rocks. As well as providing a home for a host of creatures, kelp forests also provide a popular place for humans to scuba dive and explore the ocean. However, these beautiful ocean ecosystems are in danger from climate change. In 2014, a particularly warm patch of water appeared off the coast of California and didn't disappear for two whole years. This patch of warm water, termed the blob by scientists, was soon followed by a drastic reduction in the size of California's kelp forests. What was the main cause of this deforestation? Urchins. At the same time the blob brought warm temperatures to the coast of California, a disease started to affect one of the urchins' main predators, sea stars. Sea star wasting disease spread quickly and began to kill hundreds of sea stars. Without enough sea stars to eat the growing number of urchins, urchins were free to eat as much kelp as they wanted, causing the number of urchins in the environment to go up and the amount of kelp to go down. As a result, areas that once hosted lush kelp forests are now the site of large urchin barrens. And now, because there is no kelp in these forests to eat, the urchins are starving, which means that urchin predators, such as otters and sea stars, don't want to eat them. As a result, these urchin populations just remain here with no one eating them, making it hard for kelp to return to these areas. However, recently, a different species of kelp, bull kelp, has started growing in areas that were urchin barrens a year ago. Scientists are currently beginning to study these young bull kelp stands to see what potential they hold for the restoration of one of the ocean's most beautiful ecosystems. Could this possibly indicate the start of the return of these beautiful forests? We'll have to see.